salvage yard in Phoenix is now the focus of the investigation into the crash that killed Kobe Bryant and eight others. This is where federal investigators have brought the wreckage. They will now piece together the evidence to try to find out what caused the deadly crash. But what does it take to become mm -hmm. the kind of investigator who can analyze the wreckage from a crash like that? KKL 9's Amy Johnson spoke to some students who are learning the science of it all. She's live now at Staples Center where the remembrances to Kobe Bryant continue to grow. Amy? Yeah, Juan and Sharon, the fans continue to gather here. And as you mentioned, the question still remains, why did that helicopter crash? Well, we visited the USC Aviation Safety and Security Program to see if we could get some insight from the director. These uh, two investigators are examining the cockpit of an MU-2 Mitsubishi. Thomas it's Anthony is the director of the USC Crash Lab. Ever. He showed us around the warehouse where students are learning how to investigate aviation crashes. While students learn from the wreckage, Anthony says they look at much more than that. Every pilot, before he or she undertakes a mission, does a complete pre-flight briefing on the conditions of the flight, the forecast weather, the actual weather, what the navigational aids are that are either working or not working, and plans that that uh, route of flight based on that. Anthony can't speak specifically about the investigation into the helicopter crash that killed Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna, and seven others, but he told us what investigators will be looking into. Adverse weather conditions. Thunderstorms, is icing, is turbulence, is IFR conditions, which means low ceilings and visibilities, and mountain obscuration. Two of them were present. He says they'll also look at whether the pilot had enough sleep and if there were any other threats. Yes, we can say that there was mountain obscuration, low ceilings of visibility, yes. But then what were those things that led in this decision chain to, uh, to put the aircraft in this position? But he says they teach students a valuable lesson that all good investigators know. Never jump to conclusions. Let the evidence take you by the hand to the solution and to trust the process, to trust the discipline. Now, the NTSB says that they hope to have a preliminary report out in about eight or nine days. It will not include the cause of the crash. That is expected in their final report that is expected in about eight to 12 months. Reporting live at Staples Center, Amy Johnson, KCAL 9 News. Really learned a lot from that yeah. report, Amy. All right, thanks so much.